we got some parts laid out on the bench. If you saw my last video, I was talking about doing a small bore YX motor using a KLX 110 stock cylinder and then piston, which would make it a 116 cc with the 53 millimeter crank that's in here. But uh, I haven't found one yet, so seeing what else my options are with the spare parts that I have, seeing how this build was supposed to be kind of just a budget build anyway, so the least amount of money I can spend on it the better so over here we got a few different options like I was saying I was like to keep it as small bore as possible so if I went with this top end this is off of a uh, 170 TX and it has bigger intake port and exhaust port than like the typical 150 or 160 head so this one has a 28 millimeter intake port Whereas the KLX or the CRF type one, like this right here, this is, happens to be a Honda port. And this one here is a KLX port with the bigger studs on it. But both of these are going to be the same. So we're talking 26 millimeters intake port versus the 28. And then I like how you got the option with this head with the rotation like that without using the stupid spacer. So that might help me on the perimeter frame. And then for the exhaust port on this one here we got 23 millimeter exhaust port and then on these ones here we got 21 millimeters so just a little bit bigger there um, that'd be something to think about but if I ran this let's see if I can pull this off without dropping it if I ran this cylinder if I ran this cylinder and piston it would end up making this motor a 160 because this is a 62 millimeter piston right there cylinder is not too bad I'd definitely run it I've seen worse and ran with worse so that would be that setup would be 62 millimeter piston like I said it'd make it a 160 still a two valve head but if I went with this setup this is right here is a 60 millimeter piston so if I use this top end on the 53 millimeter bottom end that would make it a 150 so I could probably do this head on this 60 millimeter cylinder the only thing is these cylinders are a little bit different height so when you use this head on the KLX style cylinder you have to use a shorter timing chain a blue slow racer with the YX 180 build is a 56 millimeter crank most of the YX engines like the 160 will have the 57 millimeter crank so it's just kind of a little bit different when I put this the V2 head with the TB parts 64 millimeter bore kit on the 170 cc motor with the 56 millimeter crank I had to use one link longer on the timing chain so I ended up using I believe it was a 92 link versus the 90 which comes on the um, 160 the whole point is to keep it small bore and short stroke so it's a quick rever. I'm still looking for the KLX 110 cylinder but if I do that I'm going to bore it out to uh, 53.5 millimeters that way I can use the Weissco high compression piston because I'm going to have to bore any cylinder use cylinder that I get out anyway you know what I mean so I guess it really doesn't matter this is the 60 millimeter cylinder right here not too bad either so what I could do is use this cylinder hope I don't drop one of these in a second here and then this head put those together and that would be that would be the combo there it would be 170 cc head with the roller rocket design and then 160 cc 60 millimeter piston which would bring this thing back to a 150 so that'd be a pretty cool setup too I'd be able to mess with the angles here I'd have a nice intake port size already nice free flowing and um, I'd have the right exhaust port because like I was saying I'm going to be using a Honda port exhaust so that would work out perfectly right there another thing people were asking me to make a video on I figured I'd include this real quick because um, like say I was going to use this head on with a KLX cylinder where it has the wider 
So right here on the KLX cylinders or on the TB part cylinders, the big bores, it will be a little bit wider right here. So you have to customize or you could use the Daytona 190 skid plate and that works too for the older 150s. But if you already have one of these laying around, it's not that hard to cut it and modify it. So basically, so this is the Honda one right here with the skinnier cylinder and then KLX how much wider it is. So if I was to use this cylinder, I'd be able to use this whole setup right here, no problem. But let's just say, for example, I was going to use the KLX cylinder or TB parts bore kit. What you'd want to do is bolt this on the bike because this is too long. So on the KLX, it'd be too far back. The bolts for the YX engines, like right up here. So bolt that on the bike and then leave yourself a little bit extra. And then you, I just drew the line right here. But then what you're going to want to do is cut it right there and then bolt it back on the bike, bolt these on the bike, and then swing this. Obviously this will be cut a little bit longer so you have room to massage it in there, but what you'll end up doing is this piece will end up going over like that because what it has to do is go forward and over and then it will bolt on. So like once it's in that position, it's perfect. So what I did was I cut that end off there. I made sure I put lines made it nice and even weld that seam there and then you can cut that off and then flip it obviously and put it on this side and then weld it on to the piece that's going to be missing right there so that what you're doing is just moving it over and forward so it's pretty simple um, but like I said if you want to go the easier route it's a little bit more expensive is buy the BBR Daytona 190 um, skid plate and it should bolt right on that but the best bet is just to try to match up whatever cylinder to the skid plate and for the YX mode is the best bet is to just run the Sierra 50 skid plate and if it's an older YX motor like this your options are to customize one of these or buy the BBR Daytona one and that thing should bolt on there I'm not fully decided but I came up with one thing in today which was cool so if I am going with the bigger bore and I don't go with the 116 cc with the KLX cylinder and um, one of these heads or this head then what I'll end up doing is just running this cylinder because I'll still run this head on the KLX 53 millimeter cylinder and piston if not maybe run this one I can do the high compression Weiss go piston and um, that might be better to have the bigger ports in there so we'll see I ended up putting the fast weight pegs onto the MM12P2 I had to just like I was saying in my last video file down the fit kit just a couple millimeters so they would slide in but they fit nice and tight on there so it dropped them down a little bit and further back and like definitely can feel a difference so highly recommend these foot pegs I love the cleats on them it comes with two different sizes and uh, definitely gonna be my go-to foot pegs from now on if anybody got a lead on a header like this the Daytona 190 header let me know we gotta get it apart and get the 212 kit in this thing and build this motor so stay tuned for that too that should be a good series of videos coming out on this then again I'm thinking if I use this top end I'll be able to use my BBR covers I got a cam cover and two tappet covers that I'd like to use so those are the BBR covers that I have for it just polished it might look pretty good on there this will be my backup plan and then I still have this thanks for watching guys as always don't forget to like the video maybe consider leaving a comment maybe share it with a friend Stay tuned for the next one.